How about we make a vegetable cutter at home? Guys, I have a bean with me. I don't know how well will it work. So let's start it. Oh, oh it does work. Are you not tired of cutting the vegetables just the old way? I mean, it's nice to cook but it is so boring to cut these veggies like that. How about we make a vegetable cutter at home just with all the stuff that we already have. I think that's a great idea. Filled with science and so many things. To make a vegetable cutter, first of all, we need a box. A box, a box. Any kind of plastic box which is small and can fit some items. And those some items are a motor, a battery, a switch. So that we can make a circuit and which we can attach with a blade. Kids, no, you cannot use this. You better have your parents or siblings around. And then we need a tape. I am going to use a copper tape. You can use any kind of tape. So can we start? Let's go. So first of all, let's start making some holes. We need to make one hole here at the top where we are going to fit the motor and one hole somewhere down so that we can insert the vegetable through it. So let's start. I'm going to use a very hot object. You can use a glue gun, a shoulder gun. Just be cautious. Okay, so this hole is good enough to insert our motor through it, right? But before we put it here, we need to make one more hole. I'm going to make one here a little bigger so that we can insert some veggies and some strews through. We have a big hole. So we have two holes here. One for the motor to go through. Another one for the veggies to come out from. So let's just make the raw materials first. With the caps, I'm going to cut out two circles and put some holes through them. Okay. I have carved these from the bottle caps we had and now I have dig some holes. As you can see, there are two holes here. Now it's time we set up our machinery. So here we have the ball, we have the motor, the ball, we have to insert our battery through the hole. Here. And we have to stick it well. So I'm going to use super glue. Our material is up here. Very well stuck. So now we need to add these rings we cut. Here. So we put one ring here, then we put a blade and then we put our another ring. So there we go. And there we go. So we have our blades in place and they're pretty sharp. All we have to do now is fit the battery. We all know how the circuit runs, we put the battery, we put the switch, we add some wires and it's good to go. I'm going to, we just stick our battery and our switch on the cap so that it doesn't move. I'm going to use a glue gun, you can use super glue or anything. And there we go. And now it's time to test this thing. I just hope it works well. Wow, it's too loud. Guys, I have a bean with me. I don't know how well will it work, but I am optimistic. So let's start it. Oh, oh it does work. Wow. I have all my veggies here chopped in mini granules. See, 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 this is nice. I really enjoyed making this. I think you should try and make this thing too. Because of course, cutting vegetables should not be boring. And if you really liked how this experiment went, please keep watching the Stupid Lab. And yes, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Till